In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you are well. It is Friday, the 15th day of January, in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2021. Today, we are on the 60th day. In our 25 days novena for men and women in business, and from yesterday, we are talking about how you as a business owner can build a relationship with people. And one thing that we said yesterday is that please learn to treat people like human beings. They may not be having the money that you have. But that does not make them less of human beings. No, please. No. And we added at a point where we said that concentrate on the whole person. And on this, there is one thing I needed to mention. Sometimes we judge people on account of their faith. Maybe you are a Protestant, and the person in front of you is a Catholic, or a Muslim. And uh, because of their faith, you can't give them work. Not that it is the principle of your company, no. You are just biased. You may think that because this fellow does not profess the faith that I do profess, they will not be professional. That is not right. We have said, look at the, the totality of the person. Don't judge somebody because you have heard that uh, she is not married. How many single mothers have been turned away simply because they are not married? The person in front of you, she may not be married. But remember, you had advertised a position based on some competencies. A marital status was not part of the considerations. So don't just um, biasly just judge them. Or maybe because of where they went to school. Or maybe because of their stature. Or maybe because of their color. Very sad. The totality of the person. Remember, you and the person that you are forming a relationship with, both of you, are human beings at the basic level. And that is what matters. So from there, remember things that are important to others. Please do. There are things that are important to others. There are others that are not. They are trivial. What is trivial to others, do not make them prominent and, and, and build and, and, uh, you know, and st st stand on them. No. You cannot, uh, you cannot um, major on what people are thinking is not so important. Some people known for building relationships keep a small portfolio of important information. What you need to know must be important information. Don't again, as we said the other day, don't dig too deep to make the person look uncomfortable. There are some maneuvers that you can make that leave the person naked and vulnerable. It's like you have undressed them by the information you are seeking, the questions you are asking, and you make them feel useless and hopeless. It is not right. Be consistent and manage your emotions. Be consistent and manage your emotions. Don't be, you know, those persons who you, you keep on, you know, um, throwing around your black moods. Sometimes you would come, you cannot talk to anybody. There are other times you talk to everybody. But when you're talking to everybody, you are saying nothing. 
And when you are supposed to say something, you are commanding everybody, dehumanizing them, insulting them, all the manner of things. Manage your emotions, my brother. Manage your emotions, my sister. If you are having a problem at home, maybe in your marriage, or with your children, or with your parents, or with your siblings, don't drag that to work. Please don't. And number six, be open and share when the time is right. Now, this is important. You don't go sharing about yourself to everybody and everything. No, you don't. There is a way that you do things, you know. You, you, you manage yourself. You, you manage the information that you want to put across there. It is important. Be genuine, even in your questioning. Be genuine, even in your, in your seeking of the information. Be genuine, even in your desire to know people more. Be confident, be humble, be trustworthy, be positive, and be fun. Be a person that people feel that they are warm, you are warm to be with. Don't be a, a, a person when people see you, this camper for safety because they do not know what next is coming from your mouth. No, that is not good. It is not good. Because what happens is that uh, people will hate you. And then they'll see that now, um, you know, this person is like a, a time bomb. Time bomb. Because you are not a good person. So, how then, how can you become, as you build relationships, how then do you make people like you? How, do you, how can you become more likable? That's a good question. Can we answer that tomorrow? I think we can. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Friday. Thank you.